Hello, this is Larry Weinberg from the Rum River Art Center, and I'm going to have a quick tutorial on the Anoka Winterfest project of a watercolor shadow snowman. And you all should have got a kit uh, for the shadow snowman, and it has these instructions in it. Now with the kit, you've got some watercolor paper, watercolor paper, here we are, watercolor paper. You'll have some watercolor paint palette, and then you'll have uh, uh, a brush with the watercolor. And then you're gonna need a couple of things. We're gonna need, some, I've got some glue here. I have some Q-tips, a scissors, some black paper, any kind of black construction paper. I'm gonna be drawing my trees and part of the snowman on this and cutting it out. And then we're gonna need a little bit of orange paper or red paper for a scarf and nose. So you should gather those things together. And then I'm gonna kind of take you through step by step and you can follow along with your instructions. So the first thing we wanna do once we have all our materials together is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna take our watercolor paper, I'm gonna take a piece of tape that I had on the back of it and about a little bit above halfway, I'm going to put my tape. Maybe just halfway is good. And this helps us when we're painting. You don't have to do this, but this helps. And what we want to do first is we're going to paint the sky. We're going to paint the sky first. And then what we're going to be doing, I better get my instructions underneath my tape. Huh? So then what we're going to be doing is while the paint dries, we're going to be cutting out our trees, our snowman, and our moon. Easy as that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start mixing up some paint. And what I like to do is I like to start with, oh, uh, a blue and a purple. And when I use watercolor palettes like this, I'm just gonna pour a little bit of water into the watercolor first, just to get it moist. And I'm gonna be using blue, purple, and black. All right, and I'm gonna start with blue. And I just wanna kinda of come in and put a nice quick background. This is kind of like an underpainting. You don't have to cover every area when you're doing a watercolor background like this, but we wanna come right over the tape. I'm getting this, I'm getting a little bit more water with this. And so I do blue first. You can see I'm just gonna, I wanna leave some white there so I can fill in with the purple. Then I'm gonna come in with purple over. over the, the blue. And then to give it a night nice sky, what I do is I use some watery black to finish it. So it's kind of nice, easy process here. I'm just coming in, I'm doing, as you can see, first purple and blue. If you don't want it to mix too much, you just let this dry. And I'm gonna get the black kind of watery so that it's not as strong. And then I'm gonna come in with black. I'm gonna make my black a little bit heavier down here. I don't wanna cover everything up. Just creating a nice dark night sky here. You can see we've got that pretty much complete, just like that. Get my brush clean. All right. Now, if you don't have necessarily, if you can't find black paper, you can always use white paper, paint it black, or use a Sharpie to make it black. It's kind of a fun kind of thing is figuring out how you can do it. You can have do your own things to make black paper. The same thing with the orange or red. You can color things and then cut it out. So first thing I'm gonna do is, and you can just go right to the scissors. I kind of drew a couple of trees on mine in pencil. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut out these trees real quick. 
And then I'm gonna end up putting them on. So I'm gonna go ahead and I just kind of, I'm gonna come through here and just do a quick cutout of tree number one. And I kind of making it sure that it's gonna fit the right height. Yep, looks good. So I'll go ahead and cut this out. And I'm just gonna make sure I have my tree and I do the outside first. You can do it however you want. One of the things I always liked is watching person like, um, and there's some video of Henri Matisse, the French painter. When he couldn't paint anymore, he ended up doing artwork. It was called painting with scissors. And he cut out things because he couldn't use a paintbrush, but he could get the colors and things he wanted to do it, he made these amazing collages and paintings with color, with uh, scissors. So yeah, there you go. So I'm just gonna kind of come through here and cut out these trees. And this is kind of what it's fun because it becomes kind of a mixed media collage product project. And you can do any kind of tree you want. I'm just kind of doing my kind of I don't know, elm, oak kind of tree. And just getting all the little details here of the tree in the right spots. And what we want to do is we want to cut out all our things first, because what you're going to see is that then once they're all cut out, we're going to place them where we want and then we're gonna trace these with a pencil, and then we're gonna paint the shadow on the reverse side. So we need these cut out first. This is our first bit of our project here, is to cut these out. And I'm almost done with tree number one. Okay, so there's, Tree number one, it's not the greatest tree. Is it gonna go over here? I think so. I'll do tree number two real quick. And then we'll have, just kind of come over here and cut out my trees. Now for the snowman, when we get to the snowman, we're gonna to have to actually assemble the snowman before we trace them because we want the whole hat and scarf so we can get the really appropriate shadow there. Don't wanna cut off any of my branches. Gotta be careful here. Need to make sure that I come in here. My scissors, I see if they'll cooperate. This paper, I like this black paper I've got. But it might be a little stiffer than I want it if the paper's a little thinner, cuts easier. But I like this black paper I found here. Yes, I know. I'm just kind of keep coming in, making these cuts. I kind of have an idea where I'm going, but then I'll easily kind of come over here and make some changes and kind of come changing the way the branches are, cut that off there, and then come over here and kind of decide that I want to make it a little bit more of a Y. Come over here. Now you guys will take more time and do better trees than mine. But you can see that this is kind of the interesting part of it here is getting these trees cut with the branches, trunks, all right. So now I've got the two trees cut and I'm gonna set these down over here. And then I'm gonna want to come in with uh, a moon 
So I'll cut out a moon and you can decide how big your moon will be. Back there. You can see I drew out my snowman a little bit here and I'm just gonna come over here, cut out my snowman. <laughs> Almost cut off his head. Snowman without his head, that would not be good. They need their head. No. There we go. All right. So then I'm going to go ahead, get my snowman where I want it to be. Then I'm going to go ahead and cut out a hat. I think I drew a hat somewhere. So I'm going to cut out his hat. I need a little bit of doing kind of a snow stove pipe. You can do like a stocking hat or whatever kind of hat you want for your snowman. And Oops, I dropped my hat on the floor. Okay, I'll put my hat, see that hat works, yeah. And then he's got, you're gonna need some buttons, you're gonna need a nose, and some branches for his arms. So then what you'll do is you'll end up gluing the snowman together. And I'm just gonna make this so we can move along here. I'm gonna remove this one and put my already made snowman over here. Kind of place things. So this is where we wanna place things. You wanna place them right along the line of the tape. Now, what I can do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove the tape and I'm gonna get an idea of where they're gonna be and then I'm gonna flip them over I say, okay, I want it right there. Okay, so this one, I'll come, and I'll flip it over like this. And I'll take my pencil, my pencil, there it is. Making sure, so this is gonna be here. You want that right like that. Yes, that's it. Okay. So I'm going to draw this out. This gives us, you want to draw lightly on the watercolor paper. And then we're going to make some gray. So you see, how do you make gray? Well, you do a watery black becomes kind of a gray, but you don't have to necessarily have a gray. You can do your shadows purple if you want. It doesn't really make a difference. So there, I know where it's going now. Okay, then I'm gonna take this one, flip it over, draw the shadow. And I'm just tracing this the edges trying to. Like that, so we have that. I'm gonna do the same thing for my snowman. Flip them over. I had them placed by just tape on the back. I want to go around where his scarf is, his little arm. His other arm. So you can see, I'm just going to trace this. There we go. So there we have, I don't know if you can see it very well, but I've traced 
them like that. Then I can go ahead and place them where they belong, back where they were, there they are. Okay. Now for glue, a lot of times I'll use a Q-tip for the glue to glue the things on. And I'll be gluing these on in a second here, but I wanna first get this place. So then to get the shadows, I'm gonna take a little bit of black I'm just putting the water in and then I move it over either to the tray top or right here in the center and I'm getting a lot of water. I want it to be mostly water so then I can see, yeah, see it's nice gray tone here. So then I'll just come in here. I'll be using that right there and I'll just come in to create my shadow. Like I said, if you don't want to do it in gray, you can do it in purple or, or brown. And I'll come back and add a little bit more water here. So the snowman and the trees will be all in gray. One of the things to make sure that it's kind of watery and a gray you can paint with just water the tree and I'll show you that with the snowman I'll do the snowman that way so you can see what I'm talking about and then you know that it's not going to be too dark so I'm just going to clean off my brush I'm just going to put water where the snowman is here just water where the snowman is and I'll go and grab this and there I can just do it like that. Okay, so once I've got the shadows like that, I'm just gonna do my shadows here. Perfect. Okay. Now, just to finish this off, what I'm going to do is I'll take my glue. Hopefully this got some glue in here. And I'll start with the first item. Oh, this glue looks like it's all dried out. But, yeah, it has. You'll take the glue and you'll glue the moon, then the trees, and then the snowman. So then you have, you're completed and you can always add your own little details. But the project is pretty much complete once you've glued everything down. So that's our quick, fun tutorial on creating your own watercolor shadow snowman for Winterfest. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you have any questions, you can please contact us. We're over here at the Rover Art Center and we can help you out. Maybe if you need supplies, some little help with glue or whatnot, we're here to help. Thanks a lot.